welcome back to the channel i am rupali shah a blockchain developer and your instructor at newton school so this video will be dedicated to have a connectivity between metamask and your react application and this we are going to do with the help of windows object so let's get started but before moving to our today's agenda let me introduce you with the newton school it is an edtech company that helps you to become a full stack developer now if you are someone who is aiming to become a full stack developer then i would really suggest you to join this uh, edtech company and uh, the link is in the description so if you want to get the details of the courses then please visit the link in the description the first link and from there you will be getting all the details of the course regarding full stack development and the best part about this company is that it guarantee you a placement from 5 lakhs to 40 lakhs and you need to pay for your courses after those placement so this is the upfront of uh, this particular uh, company and uh, if you are aiming to uh, be a full stack developer then the link is in the description you can check that out now let's get started and let's continue with our today's agenda which was connect metamask with react application so first of all we will be going to our uh, that uh, this uh, visual studio and uh, over here we will be like uh, having a react app this particular app is just initiated with the help of command npm create react app and the name of the app which was dap and this got created so after creating like after uh, the your react app is initiated we just run npm run uh, start and the local server at 3000 the app is running right now so let's visit the app this uh, local uh, server local host basically 3000 and over here you could see that this uh, basic react app is uh, given to us with that command npm uh, create react app and uh, before like uh, having uh, developing our front end and then connecting it with uh, metamask i would like you to introduce with uh, that what we will be exactly doing so it is an uh, site you could say which is a basically decentralized site and over here you could see one option which is connect wallet so when you will be going to this connect wallet option you will be getting like two options like you can choose whether you want to go with metamask or wallet connect so our uh, today's agenda is to go with metamask so the way we selected metamask it open our metamask pop up and okay it asks us to verify your account and once you will be verifying the account you could easily get connected with the uh, site like uh, your uh, metamask wallet is now connected with the site and same thing we are planning to do with the uh, our own application which we will be going to make so let's first create a button uh and uh, let's just define some functionality to that button so uh let me do one thing let me just clear out everything which is present in our render option because we don't uh want any uh, else thing to be rendered we just want a button to be get rendered uh so let's just do that uh let's just remove everything uh, these headers and all let's just comment okay let's just remove it it's not the use to comment uh let's just have a save and yeah we are having a blank file now in this blank file uh, we will be having one h1 and this will be like connect to the wallet wallet and let's just save it and it help us to have a centered uh, margin which is connect to the wallet and now we will be having one button which will help us to connect to the wallet so let's create the button b o t t o n button and this button is having one uh, particular uh, text which is wallet or we could just write metamask meta mask now let's just save it and uh, let's just check it out so yeah this is the button and on uh, clicking this button i want this pop up to Uh, like get opened and get uh, my site connected to metamask so before moving uh, let's just uh, have some width and height to the button because uh, it is not looking so much nice 
और वी कुड डू वन थिंग ओवर है लेट्स जस्ट डोंट लाइक लेट्स हैव इट ऑन नॉट लेट्स लीव इट फॉर नाउ लेट्स जस्ट हैव एन ऑन क्लिक इवेंट ऑन क्लिक इवेंट एंड दिस ऑन क्लिक इवेंट लाइक फॉर नाउ लेट्स जस्ट हैव एन अलर्ट इवेंट एंड इन दिस अलर्ट इवेंट वी कुड पास दैट इट वॉज क्लिकड या सो लेट्स जस्ट सेव इट and here if now okay it is uh, uh, calling it every time so we need to like uh, call this using a function and yeah that will be cool so yeah the problem got solved and whenever anyone will be clicking on the button then only this pop up has been activated now uh, we will be having one object like there is an object window object which is having ethereum basically and thing and that particular thing helps you to like uh, have that okay the uh, that particular thing helps you to connect to the wallet so we will be checking like in the this uh, function instead of that alert box or let's just have the alert for now connect to metamask as alert metamask and uh, let's say that this alert is uh, it is like just for our uh, testing purpose but the main thing is that we need to check our object so let's just check window dot ethereum ethereum and uh, if uh, window dot ethereum is present then uh, again uh, have an alert which will be or we could uh, go with the console console dot log and we could do over here window dot ethereum the whole thing so that we are known to it like what is window dot ethereum so now let's just uh, save the particular thing and let's just click on the meta uh, max button and yeah it is giving us an pop up and let's check in our console that uh, what is in the console like uh, what got a uh, console or uh, what got printed in our console so in our console we are having a proxy object so for that we need to call uh, basically a wait function so let's create this on click function async and over here we could have this uh, await thing okay not this page i want this but thing and uh, here in the proxy now you could see that we have some events and everything so this is basically an object and uh, this particular uh, thing has enabled it has the chain thing that uh, which chain is uh, present on the meta max right now suppose we are on the uh, binance chain right now let's just change uh, the ethereum change the main chain and if i will be doing the meta max right now then you could see that the chain uh, must be like uh, get changed so it's now 0x1 and previously it was 0x38 so this one is for binance and this one is for the main net ethereum so this way uh, you could see that uh, we are uh, like uh, can also get that is meta max present or not and it's returning us true so uh, same way we are having one enable function and this enable function will help us to get connect our site with meta max so right now like uh, instead of uh, this uh window dot ethereum we could have one enable called enable and let's this is a function okay i need to check out the spelling because we don't want any typo right now enable yeah i guess it's a typo so let's just save it and let's see that it will be working or not and uh, yeah our meta marks got uh, connected to our react application we were able to connect to the metamask with the react just using the windows uh, uh, like uh, object without having any external libraries like we didn't use uh, web3 we didn't use ether.js or uh, any other library we just use our browser's windows object and with that windows object we were able to connect to the site so yeah let's just connect this uh, particular uh, account with our uh, react app 
let's just connect it and uh, yeah we should just uh, close this particular thing we don't need that right now uh, let's just cancel and yeah this shows that okay your site got connected and over here you could see that in console we are having the address of our uh, uh, wallet so we could do one thing that once this particular uh, function is called like it is returning us the address so let's just uh, not console it instead of that we could do one thing we could uh, just store it in a variable const uh, account address or we can say a is equals to this particular thing and uh, let's just have one h1 uh, like uh, let's just render h1 or something like that or let's just uh, console it only like what we have done uh, previously i don't want to take this in a deep because i wanted to uh, show you uh, this uh, rendering stuff and everything uh, in the next lecture like in from next lecture we will be creating one application right now we were uh, able to uh, attach metamax to our website uh, web2 uh, were was able to talk with a web3 application because metamax is a web3 application only you could say that so yeah this was our first big achievement we were able to have our meta marks over it and uh, you could just change the address and check it out so right now we were with account one like we connected with account uh, demo account now let's connect with the account one and uh, yeah uh, just uh, in case you are now clicking on meta marks you will be having the address of uh, uh, another account which we just selected so yeah that was our first milestone that we get completed today uh, in this uh, our dap application towards our journey in dap application so thank you for watching guys and i hope you like this video learn something new out of it and don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends if someone is interested in web3 applications thank you for watching